Hey, we're back. I'm actually a little bit further ahead than we last started. Um, I was planning on just going over to the financial district and meeting up with Barlavon, but I forgot that Chorbin was here. So we should probably just not miss him. Um, what, sir? Sir? What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Uh huh. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep... Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. Yeah, the Keepers are these robotic, like, pretty much the only thing they imply is they, they keep the Citadel running, all automated and stuff. They're kind of necessary. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authority. Um. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. So this side quest is just to go around the Citadel and scan all 21 Keepers. You'll need this. Um, it's the scanning device I developed. Which can be cool, because, I mean, one, you get to know where everything in the Citadel is. It's kind of a confusing place at first. Also, it gives you money and XP for everyone you find. So, awesome. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can. The thing is, nothing's really known about the Keepers, because, like, if you try to study them... This guy will mention it anyway. Um... I sort of. Uh, they just kind of, get going, well, they self-destruct. Yes. Um, much work no one really knows why. That just there's Come these on. little robotic servants it's who maintain the, the the citadel, and if someone tries to find anything out about them, they explode. Although Chorburn here has developed a scanner that just goes loop, scan to keeper. So now we actually, as I said, why well, I'm going to show the uh, all the the council uh, the council stuff, citadel stuff the first time is because. We're going to be looking for keepers. Here's a keeper. Uh, there's like three or four keepers just up in this area. I'm probably not going to get them all right now. Just I'll try to remember how many I've gotten. Sometimes it's like you get down and there's like two keepers left. And you're like, shit, where are they? <laughs> um, any case, for now, I think we can go right to the financial district because it was mentioned to us. And we want to do that to talk to Bar Levon. Uh No, but we can go to the embassies. That's pretty close. And we'll have to walk to the financial district. We have to walk! Oh! You walking. We gotta talk to Bar Levon. See if he knows where Garrus is. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. We're not gonna talk to Avina. Avina sucks. The Citadel Tower, we were just there. Uh, ah, it's a financial district. Perfect. Right down this bridge. Right on this bridge is a citadel, it's big, and we can explore all around it, and it is too big for everything you need to do. And in Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, they make it way better, or it's just like, these are the areas you need to go to, and this one, yeah, it only has the areas you need to go to, it has these really, really long, unnecessary walkways that, like, you don't use for anything besides just walking. Look, we examined that. We got XP. That's how this game works. It just gives you, like, XP for everything. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Also kind of weird. Oh, look, Keeper. Bam! Scan. That was actually in my practice run through. That was, like, one of the ones I, I could not find. I was like, where is this thing? Alright. In any case... It's the financial district. Um, we'll buy some supplies later. First, let's talk to Barlevon. Barlevon, what's up, buddy? What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one. Yes, you are the one called Shepherd. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Bar Levon. Except I knew My that. Job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. 
I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. Free? What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren's turned on a lot of people. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain, considering the price. All right, fine, Speak fine. With the Krogan, if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Csec? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Yeah, we'll ask him some personal questions later. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. So we know about this Krogan mercenary, but we still don't know about Garrus. So we should probably still go talk to Harkin and find out about Garrus, I suppose. Oh, blah, 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 that's in the wards, I think. Yep, Chorus Dan. Boom. We're going to Chorus Dan to not get drunk, because we're actually just looking for Harkin. All right, we're saving. We're saving. Okay, cool. Oh, jeez! Whoa! Bam! 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 I've lost shield. Ow! Jesus! These guys are pretty well equipped. The other guy's still hiding over there somewhere. Can, can I sabotage him from here? Uh, I can sabotage something. BAM! Yeah, that flushed him out. That's the nice thing about sabotage normal, so you can just kind of flush him out of position. BAM! Alright, cool. Well, I guess we should heal. Jeez. Ugh. I need to get some first aid interface soon. Alright. Core is down. Doop, 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 doop. Um, uh, we can sit in this chair and watch the Sasari dancer. We will not do that. Are you? I got business here, but not with you. Uh, okay. Works for me. Ah, here's Harkin. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. What? You know that, did you? Well, I guess that would make sense if he knew Saren. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working... Why can't I have a hairstyle like his? That'd be so much more Picard. station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. Did I seriously ask why can't I look more like Harkin? Just tell me where Garrus went. 
Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. What do you know about Garris? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it. All right, and that was Harkin. And hopefully we'll never ever see him again. Because he's a jerk face. Yeah, maybe we'll talk to Captain Anderson sometime about him being a specter. For now, we gotta go see Dr. Michelle. Can we can we wrap a trans tra transit to, to Dr. Michelle now? We might be able to. Med clinic, yep, we can, because now we know about it. Um, I'm not doing as much walking around this time because I'm, I'm trying to wait until after we've done this little mission where we're trying to find out more about Saren. And then there's like a whole lot of side quests that open up on the Citadel. And we're probably going to take care of all the side quests on the Citadel before we uh, head out into uh, space and the Traverse and all that. Dr. Michelle, Garrus, are you guys here? How's it going? Oh, shit. Well, there's Garrus. And there is Yo, a bunch of assassins. Oh, shit, he's got a scouter. Who are you? Hey, what's my power level? Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, I guess we're fighting. Let's fight. <laughs> oh, cool, we leveled up. Alright, so I'm gonna show off a grenade now. We even got high explosive. Bam! Grenade, and they stick to the wall, and boom! Grenades are actually, I think, pretty fun. Alright, and we got one last thug here. Um, he is poisoned. Bam! Right in the head. Guess that's that. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Glad I could help. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the mm. run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Ooh. Fist to betray the We're helping out the Shadow Broker in all That's sorts of ways today. For him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we heard about him. A Krogan might come in handy. Yeah, Krogan are awesome. Dude, we saw the patron down there in Kora's Den. Krogan are these big, monstrous people who are really, really strong. We brought Rex in for a little talk. 
If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. All right, so now we got Garrus. I guess we'll go with Garrus and Ashley for now. Bam. We got our team. Let's go. Um, oh, we got some new equipment. Cool. Um, we should level up Garrus, maybe even myself. I'm starting to get a pretty excessive amount of points here. Might be good if we get up to the next level of electronics and damping. That's what's going to help us um, be able to uh, hack into better stuff later on. So it might be good just to level those up for now. I still have enough points for some extra charm when that time comes. Ashley, can you do anything interesting? I can do a little more assault training, a little, little fitness. Maybe we can work on your combat armor. And we'll save that last point for later. Uh, Garrus, what do we want to work on? Oh, we can get you all the way up to being able to use sniper rifles proficiently. Let's do that. And then, uh, I guess we'll start working him up to, uh, better armor. Um, speaking of better armor, maybe we have some Turian armor we can give him. Uh, that'd be an upgrade. Uh, how's that? Uh, more shields. Lighter everything else. Let's check it out. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll go with that. That's a pretty good increase in the shields. Cool. We're good. Oh, actually, I want to talk to Dr. Michelle. We can buy some first aid interface from her. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, is there anything you needed? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Yeah, <laughs> medical exoskeleton's amazing. Uh, we can't buy that right now. Now we're going to get first scary interface one. Maybe first grade interface. There we go. That's as much as we can get for now. Um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and put that on. And then we'll give the other one to Garrus. There we go. Now we'll automatically heal over time. Uh, which is nice. Uh, oh, so now we need to go down to C-Sec and find, uh, Rex. Oh, actually, is it too late for me to do this? Or do I need to do with and Ashley? Is that how that works? There's something over here that you can do, but I might not be able to do it. Yeah, it's too late for me to do it already. Ha! Huh. That sucks. It's kind of a cool little dialogue. If you come up here with, with just Caden and Ashley before you start any of this stuff, like if you explore the Citadel first, they get a really cool dialogue. I'm actually kind of sad I missed it. Oh well. Can't get everything, I guess. Um, I guess we'll collect Rex and conclude this episode. So let's go get Rex. Rex, 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 Rex. He should be in ward. C-Sec can go C-Sec. We can't go to C-Sec. We have to walk to C-Sec. Um, no, exit, we're not, we're not, we're not using this. We gotta go to C-Sec. C, 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 scan the keeper, da, 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 da. Alright, down, down to C-Sec. We gotta take the stairs, the stairs down to C-Sec. The stairs down to C-Sec. Stairs down to C-Sec. Stairs down to C-Sec. We'll talk to this guy later. Ugh, there's so much walking. I walk over here, I walk over there, I walk again, and run, 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 and there. Yes, I know this goes to seaside. Oh boy, elevator. You'd experience elevators for the first time. One of the most annoying things. Elevator is pretty much loading screen. Um, we're stuck on this elevator until we get to our destination. Sometimes cool conversations or even missions happen. <coughs> you While you're on an elevator. Your training in the human military prepared you well for your duties, Gunnery Chief? Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. That's pretty self-explanatory. Also, this might be uh, going a little over what I wanted the episode's length to be, so we're going to go ahead and cut off now, and uh, next episode we'll hopefully be off this elevator. See you guys next time.